Um, you know, historically, uh, weight loss medications have gotten a really bad rap. Um, many people remember uh, Fenfen, um, and that turned out to cause valvular problems. So they took, um, they took it off the market, but they only took the one off the market, which was fenfluramine. Um, fentermine um, actually has been around for a very long time uh, and is a very effective uh, appetite suppressant. Uh, however, because of all of the bad rap that it got um, so many years ago, doctors have been reluctant uh, to use the medication to help people lose weight. Um, it, it's really uh, an unfortunate thing that has happened uh, in the weight loss world in general. Um, when you know that medication was the only one left, people really stopped using it, and they they. Um, didn't treat obesity uh, even then as a chronic medical condition. It was just laziness or willpower. Um, two, roughly two years ago, um, the first weight new weight loss medication was approved for the first time in 20 years. Um, and it was the, the very first time that there was starting to be a change in, in the tide that um, this is a chronic medical condition. Uh, that medication is now um, in its, uh, they're in uh, year three trials of patients using it continuously. No different than uh, you might take a blood pressure medicine for life or um, an asthma medication for life. Um, the people that are, are staying on it are doing better at maintaining their weight loss than they did when they were taken off the medication. Uh, that medication actually opened the door uh, for many more. Um, and in this last year, there have now been four, I think four different medications that have been approved for weight loss and others coming down the pipeline. Um, your weight loss medications really are no different than treating uh, any other medical condition with medications. And as physicians, we do that all the time. Somebody's cholesterol is elevated, we give them a cholesterol pill. If they have high blood pressure, we give them a high blood pressure pill. Uh, while I don't believe that, you know, there's one magic pill to treat it, um, the medications can be very, very useful in helping someone address a particular aspect that seems to be complicating their weight loss journey. Um, some people it's hunger, some people it's craving, some people it's enjoyment of the food or binge eating or nighttime eating. Uh, the medications that are, that are out uh, can be used for specific reasons. Um, our approach has been dietary first and behavioral, but we don't hesitate to use those medications when they need to be used. Uh, again, just like treating any other medical condition. And the reason we do that is it isn't just about losing weight. We have to address all of the factors that go into someone's weight. Um, and that isn't just the food. There's the psychological aspect, there's the emotional aspect, um, the, the behavioral, all of those things go into causing someone uh, to gain weight, um, have trouble losing weight and, uh, and and we have to make sure that we use all of the tools that we have uh, to treat this very complex medical condition.